Good evening, everyone, and Merry Christmas Eve. You know, have you ever wished upon a star? When I was a child, there was a rhyme we would say in the evening when the sky began to get dark. As soon as it was dark enough for us to see the very first star in the sky, we would say, starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. When we finished saying the rhyme, we closed our eyes and made a wish for something very special. I don't remember if any of my wishes ever came true, but I'm sure that if they did, it wasn't because I wished on a star. The people who lived in Jesus' day were watching and waiting for the Messiah who had been promised by the prophets of old. Many of them watched the stars in the sky, looking for a sign that would announce the coming of the Messiah. As you know, a star did appear announcing the birth of Jesus Christ. The wise men saw the star and went to find the Christ child, but for many years after that, some people were still watching and waiting. You know, they didn't have cell phones or email back then, or even the news. They had to wait many years for news to get around to them. In the Bible reading that I'm going to talk to you guys about today, John the Baptist is in prison. He had heard reports about the things that Jesus was doing, so he sent some of his followers to ask Jesus. Are you the one that we've been waiting for, or should we continue to look for someone else? Jesus told them, Go back and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind are made to see. The lame are able to walk. Lepers are being cured. The deaf can hear. And even the dead are raised to life. One of the names given to Jesus is Bright Morning Star. Jesus is not a wishing star to whom we say a prayer and make a wish. He's a star of hope. Our hope is in the living God, who is the Savior of all people. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we see the many stars in the decorations of this season, may we be reminded that Jesus is the bright morning star, and that when we put our hope and trust in him, our future is secure. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.